Anthony Kastrovitz here with Chris Antonetti, president of the Cleveland Guardians. And uh, last year, Chris, youngest team in baseball, <laughs> you made it to the ALDS. How exciting was that run, and then how do you maintain that momentum with a young team moving forward? It was a really fun year, but I think the thing we are most focused on at this point is how do we build on that? How do we take the lessons we learned last year and apply them this year and, and try to advance even further? Uh, the Josh Bell signing was a big one for you guys in terms of adding some thump to the lineup. What are your expectations for him uh, adjusting to the American League, adjusting to your ballpark? We think Josh is a really good complement to our team as a switch hitter that manages a strike zone well, can fit in the middle of our order somewhere, uh, balances the lineup against both lefties and righties, and provides some protection. So hopefully he can come in and just be the player he's been in the past and you know, help us be a little bit better. And then at the catching spot, uh, you had Mike Zanino, the veteran there, and uh, you know more power uh, from that perspective. But you also have Bo Naylor uh, in, in the mix and uh, excitement for what his future could bring. So how's the outlook there? We're really excited about the group of catchers that we have. Uh, you know, as we've shared, we prioritize defense from that position, and Mike Zunino comes in with a great reputation as not only really good skills behind the plate, but the rapport he builds with pitchers and the way he leads a pitching staff. And you know, he's already uh, integrated himself in our environment really well and has started building those relationships. So we think he'll be a you know really good contributor for us this year. And uh, with Bo, he's got great potential, and we think he will have a chance to go on and have a great major league career. Exactly when that timeline starts. We'll have to see, but he's putting in all the work right now to make that happen. And as I said, great success with a young team last year, and yet there's more coming uh, in your farm system. A lot of names will be excited about Daniel Spino, George Valera, etc. cetera. Uh, how do you see those guys getting worked into the mix over the course of this season? We'll have to see. It's hard to predict exactly when players will impact the major league level. I think there are a few things that have to happen. First, there has to be an opportunity. And then second, you know, the players have to put themselves in a position to be the best option when that opportunity is there. And I think we recognize the importance of you know, having depth and having a number of options to potentially turn to because inevitably during the course of the season, things aren't going to go the way exactly the way we plan. So having options to t turn to internally is really important. We are at the start of a very dynamic uh, spring training. There's, there's rule changes in place. There's the World Baseball Classic coming up. So there's a lot of, uh, I guess, disruption to the normal spring. How have you guys prepared for that? Yeah, we've tried to get ahead of it as best we can. We know that there is, it's going to be a learning period. But by and large, I think I, in particular, am really excited about once things settle, the impact the rule changes will have. And I know it might take us a little time to get there, and there may be some bumps along the way. But hopefully, it's a net, net positive for the sport. All right, Chris, thanks for your time. My pleasure, Anthony. Thank you.